Hey, Chuck Case and Kid, and today I'm in Philadelphia because I wanted to do something different. So here is four sculptures in Philadelphia that are by the sculptor Klaus Oldenburg. So you have this little fountain and then this is the subway entrance right here and then right there is the clothes pen. That's subway entrance as well. Step 15th and Market right across from Philadelphia City Hall. That is the first piece of Oldenburg's work in Philadelphia. So this one was installed in 1976 for the Bicentennial. And a lot of people see a seven and a six in that spring that's on it. This is a really busy section of Philadelphia because it's right across from City Hall and it's right where everyone goes down to get on the subway but that's 45 feet tall it's made out of steel and then the spring is stainless steel I think this might have been Oldenburg's first piece in an urban setting. Center Square is what I guess they call this. That's the entrance to the Market Broad Street line for the subway. And there's City Hall behind it. And there's the clothespin. This is the University of Pennsylvania's campus and the next sculpture is right in the middle of the campus. Here's the button. It's the split button from 1981. It's right in front of this, which is the Van Pelt Dietrich Library Center. And you just turn around and it's right there and then right across is the statue of Benjamin Franklin it's made out of white painted aluminum And the holes maybe represent the four squares in the city and the split maybe it represents the Schuylkill River which is what runs through the heart of Philadelphia.
So this is the sculpture garden that's associated with the Museum of Art, the Philadelphia Museum of Art, which is right through those trees right there. This is the, I'm going to call it the Schuylkill side, the west entrance. The east entrance faces the parkway. That's where the rocky steps are. The Philadelphia Museum of Art right behind me. It's the west entrance. It's not the entrance. It's on the parkway. And the next sculpture is right there. Or right, where is it? It's somewhere up here. <laughs> so this piece right here is called the three-way plug and it was in a private collection and then it got gifted to the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Now there's a wooden one that's in the Philadelphia Museum of Art that's made out of cherry and then there's the steel one here. I think this is sculpted in 1970. And I think it was in the private collection until like the 80s, like 83 or 84, before it came here to the art museum. But I'll see if there's a plaque anywhere around here. This is the best angle right here. With the art museum in the background. Next one is right up around the corner, right here. It's, ah, the buses are going to be in the way. Right there. This one's called the Paint Torch. So that's City Hall. This is Broad Street right here. And that's PAFO, or the Philadelphia Academy of Fine Arts. And that is the paint torch, which was installed in 2011. And it lights up at night, the, the paint part at the top. And then there's a blob at the bottom that people make fun of because they think it looks like a certain emoji. Steel fiberglass, reinforced plastic, gel coat, and polyurethane. Like I said, the part at the top, the orange part, that lights up at night. 